let's take a look at which one of these fractions is greater, 1 8th or 1 3rd. So you could just look at this and try to reason it out. If I had one object and I divided it into eight pieces, with that same object I divided into three pieces, which one would have larger pieces? Yeah, it'd be this one, 1 3rd. So 1 3rd is greater than 1 8th. You could also find a common denominator. So right now we have 8 and 3, but if we had a common denominator, something both of these went into evenly, then we could just compare the numerators. We'd figure out whether 1 8 is greater than or less than 1 3rd. Let's do that. How about we just multiply 8 times 3? Because 8 times 3, that equals 24. And then down here, 3 times 8. Because 3 times 8, that also equals 24. And now we have the same denominator. But we can't just multiply the denominator by 8. We need to multiply the numerator up here by 8, too. 8 over 8 is just 1. So really, we're just multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's written. 1 times 8, that's 8. And 8 24 that's an equivalent fraction. It's the same as 1 3rd, same value. Up here, we're going to multiply by 3, so we get 3 24 Now we've got the same denominator. We just compare the numerators. And 8 is larger than 3, so 8 24 That's larger than 3 24 Remember, we said these are equivalent. They have the same value, so 1 3rd, that's greater than 1 8th. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.